There's many ways to fight. And some people fight just making sure that people are fed. This Spanish-American chef is at the border between Ukraine and Poland. Jose Andres is setting up food trucks so Ukrainian refugees get a warm, free meal when they arrive. Only around here we've done over 8,000 meals, only here. People are traveling by bus, cars, and on foot fleeing the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Thousands are arriving here to the Polish border town of Medica. Jose's World Central Kitchen works with local chefs and restaurants to help feed people in crisis. All these people arriving there in Poland, but it's happening in other parts, are sending them to shelters. That's where we find Sam Block, who works in the field with Jose. I can just see that refugees are just starting to come in. So I guess this is the first group of people that are entering this shelter in Poland. Is that right? These accommodation centers, there's there's quite a few of them. They're popping up very quickly as the, the flow is really increasing. So that's also where one of their many food stations is set up. As soon as they're, you know, entering what might be their home for a while, um, they're able to be greeted with that warm meal as well. One of the evacuees or one of the refugees, she came right up and was like, I'm a cook you know, in Ukraine, can I actually help? I just got here, but I really want to help and I jump in the truck and help as well. Sam, Jose and the team are used to conflict and disaster zones, from a hurricane in the Bahamas to COVID relief in Baltimore. They set up quickly, offering food as fuel for those on the front lines to persevere. A lot of people are in that constant stressful transition and, you know, to be able to take that minute, you know, we look at food as not just the nutrition that's in the food, but also just an opportunity to sit down and feel like a human for a minute. He says the first night they arrived, they handed out 2,000 meals in just three or four hours. It's a 24-hour operation, and they plan to be there for a while. It's a lot of people that have been through a lot and are on a journey, and there a lot of people aren't even sure where that journey is to. And so bringing that little bit of comfort and, and showing that somebody cares, it's very powerful. 